The Gina and Maddie podcast. You know, well, a few of us got a couple extra Christmas kilos, you know. Wait, over, uh, over why are you looking at me? Why you, it feels a little bit pointed, that sentence. Definitely me. And I, <laughs> and I always like to think of a good, you know, you get a New Year's resolution, think, yeah. oh, I'm going to be good. You can't stick to like being too good. It's too hard to just go, oh, I'm going to cut out all carbs and all sugar and everything that's processed and all alcohol. You can't do that. So I've come up with something easier. So I saw this. Okay. <laughs> I saw this meme right before Christmas that said, "Oh, you know, I love a good meme." Yeah, meme. and I love it when you talk about memes too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and the yeah. meme said, "I don't need a personal trainer. I just need someone to follow me around and slap food out of my hands." <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is cheaper than a personal trainer. So at Christmas time, under our tree were these wonderful things that are great when you're having a barbecue, you're having friends over. Mm-hmm. Let me just show you. I did oh, show got, and tell. Oh my show gosh! There's I, props. There's I props. Love show and yeah, tell. Right. So. So, oh. oh, is that what that is? So these are the. This looks like a bottle of, uh, like a black bottle, yeah. and it's got little silver thingies that you turn on a battery on the bottom, and it waves round and round. Now you put this so near, like a, near your cheese platter. It looks like a cross between a bottle of champagne and a fan. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it's and it's just soft. You put it near your cheese platter, and it keeps the flies off your cheese that platter is... or, or your barbecue outside. Oh. The world's best invention. Ten dollars in work? the middle of Erina. Oh yeah. 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 It works. You, you get you get your old smart fly. <laughs> <laughs> what would be better is if you could have them at different heights yeah, to fool yeah. the smart flies. But it's fantastic. It keeps the flies off your barbecue. That fantastic. is amazing. So this is left over from our Christmas time celebrating and mm-hmm. having friends over and stuff. So my, my weight loss invention, <laughs> I don't think anyone's thought of this. There's these little soft sort of silver, oh, they're a little bit like... Um, like, like wristbands. Yeah. It is yeah like actually a, like a yeah. wristband. It's Festival quite, wristband. Quite, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's quite soft going round and round. After Christmas, you just change that to something really sharp. <laughs> you can't and you can't, oh. you put it near your food. And do you want to get, like, do you, do you want to, you, how hungry are you really? So you just put that near, keep it near your chocolate. Yeah. Keep it near your. I can't believe you're giving cake. this away for free, Jenna Jeffrey. You should get on Shark Tank and you've got to, got to you know. <laughs> I'll have 10% of the business for $2 million. Uh, see you later, Maddie. I'm out of here. I've made a fortune. Gina and Maddie. There's lots of great shows coming up for 2024 oh, on the TV. Some what are you stuff, into? I'm really, really into Married at First Sight. I get completely hooked. That's coming back. Do you hate watch it or do you just love watch it? I love watch it until yeah. if it gets a bit mean. I don't love that. Yeah, yeah. But I like it when you see love happening. I yeah. like that. But if they get too mean, I'm like, oh, don't be mean. Do you be nice. I, I watch it too, but I, 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 with protest, but I still sit there and watch it. <laughs> one eye open, one eye yeah, shut. Yeah, Bella's like, oh, you're going to watch maths with me? I'm like, oh, maths. And by the end of it, like, can you believe what I said? <laughs> I love that. My, yeah. There's no way my husband would watch yeah. maths. He'll sit beside me and read his book. I also really love travel guides. Oh, I good. love that, that show. Family, the family, the they're friend, the best. The friend family from Newcastle. Yeah, they make yeah. me laugh so, so hard. Good. Love it. So there's lots of good stuff coming up. What are you excited about? Um, I am. This is a weird one. I'm excited for Ready Steady Cook. Uh, it's making a oh. it's making a comeback because like that was the ultimate show when I was at school and you chuck a sicky. Yeah. yeah at Ready yeah. Steady Cook would be on. I actually I, I went on Ready Steady Cook. Once Did you? There. George Columbaris was my chef. No. I was on there as a contestant. I was oh. red capsicums. I got the apron at home and I went oh. on. So Miguel's that's doing a full reboot and for some daytime telly. Oh, yeah. So we, it's perfect for us. We knock perfect. off, have a little nap during the day, wake up, and then Ready Steady Cook's on. And because lots of our listeners listening now don't realise what a good cook you are. Potentially. The, yeah. Well, yeah. I. I I, no, I don't mean potentially good, good cook. cook. You no. are, I mean potentially <laughs> that I realise. I've got a trade certificate in uh, pastry and baking, um, but uh, which is a true story. But uh, you, the other show, it started last night. As a kid, I loved watching Mike Whitney and Gladiator. Oh, or Gladiators, so not Gladiator. Good. That's Russell Crowe. Gladiators. <laughs> and it's, when they said that was coming back, I yeah. was so excited for it. It's been slammed. It has been absolutely oh, like slammed it. on Twitter. Some oh, people no. say, "Oh no, some real creative, uh, real creativity from the makers of Gladiators." It's exactly the same, but worse. Is one tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Seems they spent all their money on insurance. Was another one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe Ninja Warrior got axed, but we got Gladiators. Oh, because oh. Ninja Warrior was great, right? Great show. Great Very show. Very addictive. 
But I, so I was like, you know what? I, my nine-year-old Billy, almost nine-year-old Billy, she sat down on the lounge. We got into it. Wife was there watching it as well. Started and uh, all I heard through the first part of it because it was Phoenix. Phoenix was the gladiator who was first, <laughs> and he had the jousting sticks. And he was on the towers, and then oh. had to knock each other off these big towers with like the big <laughs> oh, giant cotton buds. That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Sandor Earl who was a rugby league player. Yeah. Uh, he is Phoenix in Gladiators. Oh. And my wife was just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at him. Oh, wow, still wood. I'm like, hang on a minute. What? Is this? <laughs> so I, I caught none of Bo Ryan or Liz Ellis talking. All I heard was, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the Gina and Maddie podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.